Hi everyone, this is a review of Aldi Wax Melts. This is the fall collection number two. The first collection came out about like three, two or three weeks prior to this collection. This collection came out, I believe, in mid-October, maybe the second or third week of October. I'm a little bit late in getting the review done. I also did re review the first collection. Um, if you haven't if you haven't bought any of these yet, you probably want to get them soon because they do sell out pretty quickly, usually within a couple of weeks. Again, sorry I didn't get the review done prior to this. So there are four new scents, Honey Glazed Pear Cider, Pumpkin Ginger Snap, Smoked Pumpkin Cider, and Winter Lodge. I don't know the scent notes. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't actually make them public. These are $1.89 each. And um, I will start with Honey Glazed Pear Cider. This to me is actually the best one. Now, I no longer have the Pear Chestnut Antique from the first collection to compare, but I think this one might smell similar. Although when melted, I do like this one much more. I love this scent. The Pear Chestnut Antique I liked also, but this one I love. I'm definitely getting the fresh pear and a bit of apple. Uh... But I'm also getting a smidgen of a bakery note, maybe, that Pear Chestnut Antique did not have. This one's also richer. It's also fresher. Might have a smidgen of salted caramel, possibly, in the background. It's just a fresh, fruity, fantastic scent. And the throw is strong, 4 out of 5. Would do well in a large room, like 100 to 300 square feet. Next, you have Pumpkin Ginger Snap. And this does indeed smell like the scent name. I'm getting gingerbread with a little bit of nutmeg, but I'm also getting a tiny bit of a rich smoky note, which might be cloves. On cold sniff, I also get orange. That gives a little bit of an orange pomander note, but I don't smell that when, I don't really smell that when it's melting. It's just a nice, warm, cozy, foodie fall scent. And the throw is strong, four out of five. Next, next is smoked pumpkin cider. And this is not what I expected on the scent, based on the scent name. I'm actually getting patchouli and a little bit of cinnamon, a hint of apple, a hint of smoke, and warm amber with a tiny bit of musk that makes this more makes it more incensey than foody. I'm not getting a nutmeg, pumpkin, or cider type notes. I love this scent, and the throw is medium, like a 3 out of 5. Would do well in a medium-sized room, like 30 to 100 square feet. And last is Winter Lodge. It's a very nice, cozy scent that smells like incense, warm, sweet amber, pine, and cinnamon with a bit of men's cologne. It's not a typical warm men's cologne scent, and it has more pine in it than other similar scents, although it's not a pine scent per se. I definitely do detect a little bit of cinnamon as well, which I don't get from other similar scents. It's like pine and cinnamon scented ambery perfume, and I really like it. It reminds me of Big Lots Frankincense and Myrrh that came out about a month or so ago, as well as Better Homes and Gardens Frankincense and Patchouli. But this scent is darker and with that cinnamon and pine notes that those other scents don't have. The throw is medium, like a three out of five. So there you have it. If you want to read a text review, a text version of this review, just go to Wax Melt Reviews and feel free to join our Facebook group where we discuss all different brands and scents of retail and store-bought wax melts. And you can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video and on our website at waxmeltreviews.com. Have a good day.